if we want. Uh, Mark is here after the match. Should we start with the... Yeah, very difficult evening. Uh, I think the one thing we uh, wanted to avoid by taking on such a big game, big opponent early uh, in our preparation was this outcome. Uh, if we had avoided this outcome, I think we would only be taking positives. Uh, yeah, I feel a big responsibility because I knew how big of a step this would be. Also was aware of the English League finishing May 11th. They got their holiday, they got in two weeks before us, that they would be in this place. Um, but was was aggressive and ambitious in, in having the game when it was. Hoped that we'd be in a, a controlled position at 60 minutes because the minds probably would have carried the bodies at that point. But the bodies had gone and it became very difficult. And at that point, could have been smarter in protecting the players in organisation because the distances got way too big on the ball. And some of the great decision-making we had in the first half had gone. Yeah, so it's going to feel like two games. Uh, Analysing the first 55, 60 minutes and getting and throwing out the last 30, 35 minutes into the bin very quickly because I don't think there'll be anything worth taking from that. Uh, due to the yeah the, the the level where we're at physically, which is normal, but the organisation that didn't help the players at that point. I, I, the wind whistle went. I knew I was going to be analysing a shorter game, um, which is 60 minutes. There'll be no point in looking any further because I let them down. At that point, the organisation should have been a lot safer, more defensive because the legs had gone in England. Yeah, just getting fresher and fresher with, with their changes. With the home crowd, we felt it once or twice in the first half. In the second half, it was just, uh, yeah, the flags and the noise coming from the home crowd, which is an experience we needed to learn. Yeah, tough night. We'll grab some things once we, once we wake up. Uh, this is our third top opponent we've faced. Uh, Brazil, we felt we should have won. France, we weren't good and didn't deserve to draw or, or win. Yeah, tonight, uh, I think England will be favourites in the Euros, where they're at, the qualities of players, the home crowd, um, the resources that the WSL have been putting in, the work the clubs have been doing. Yeah, you add all that up, it's, it's, uh, it's very hard to see that they're not favourites. And we should take the lead two or three times in this game. What happens at that point? Yeah, I think the game still gets very difficult, um, but we'll probably leave a little bit better than we did tonight. Is it? So. Uh, when I say a couple of weeks behind, yeah, now you're saying, well, okay, so then you start the tournament two weeks behind. No, um, it's, uh, if you look at England last week against Belgium, the ability to play uh, their performance and the quality of their performance, of course, the difference in today is night and day. Uh, but also the availability of players, the players that can play 90 minutes. Yeah, I hope we're there in seven days and we've got two games to get there. Uh, so it's, it's not as simple as we're playing catch-up. Um, only one or two other countries. No one is as early as England. I think one or two countries were close. Um, when you push too, too quick, too fast, you pick up injuries. and We're not going to do that. Um, so we built, we built some quality minutes tonight. Um, some players, yeah, Jill Rod, I think, really pushed through the last 10, 15. It was, it, the game got stretched and it was tough for her. I think Dominique Janssen also was put in a place to push a lot. Yeah, they're going to feel not good tonight physically, but Tuesday that will pay off. Next week that will pay off at the start of the Euros. The only thing I'm worried about is the, uh, the emotion of when you say the scoreline. Yeah, it's, it's, and, and the feeling of the last 30 minutes. If... If we can uh, accept that, feel, feel shit, uh, be sad, upset, but wake up tomorrow and get ready to move forward, yeah, I think good times are ahead. But um, only if we embrace, embrace that, because it is what it is. I was just going to ask, you've got a squad full of winners. How are they? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.